Happy Friday folks. Um, sorry I've not been on my channel for probably a couple of weeks now. I've just been really caught up with things um, to do with the house and family and all that kind of stuff and I've got a lot of ideas in the pipeline for new videos that I'm going to be making and there's going to be a lot on creativity and craft making. I'm going to start showing how to make the pendants that I make and I'm going to show you the different techniques that I use to get the effects for my pendants. So I'm going to take you through using Pebeo paints in them and then I went on to the alcohol inks to get really cool effects and we used sweet wrappers, we've used resin, we've used gold leaf, um, I've used all sorts of things to get the different effects and it's been a quite a, um exciting creative journey um, in trying to achieve these um, effects and a lot of the time it's been through requests from friends and family looking for a certain theme um, such as the Aurora pendants that I made for a friend of the family um, so that got me on to using the alcohol inks and one thing led to another so it's been a really exciting creative journey for me and I think it's about time that I share it with other like-minded people that are interested in it um, up until now I've kind of kept it to myself um, but I, I don't see the point and not sharing all the valuable information that I've, I've gained from it and sharing how I've managed to create these different effects and then uh, people at home that want to try it can, can do it also. Um, I'm also going to be using clay and making pendants from clay um, and doing a bit of lino printing and showing you how to to make um, prints from lino cuts. So there's going to be lots of creative things in the pipeline. I'm also going to be starting to show the skincare that I use and the different essential oils and what they're good for. And one of the essential oils that um, I value highly is frankincense. And I would say that that is my favourite oil out of all of them. Uh, frankincense, then jasmine, rose, lavender, but frankincense is way up there. It's it's the best oil for um, getting in touch with your higher self and helping your breathing to become deeper. Um, it's got so many therapeutic benefits and I'll talk about that in another video, but um, it also helps you meditate and if you're drawn to the angels it can help you connect to the angelic realm. So today I wanted to pull a few cards from a deck that I've got on its guardian angels. Um, it's angelic guidance and I'm going to pull three different random cards. I've been wanting to do it for a while, I've just not um, got round to it but I've been kind of nudged to do this for quite a while now so um, this is what's um, coming through today. So beyond the visible softness of an angel is a force of purity that the world can never break. This force is in the very softness of the dawn sky. It can be sensed in the distant twinkle of stars. It can be felt underfoot on a mossy river bank, in the soft yielding of a white sandy beach. It can be stroked in the softness of a child's hair. It is in the intricate feather 
left behind as a message from the angels. It is in the filtered sunlight through the canopy of trees. It is in the promise of the rainbow. Yet its strength supports with the salty buoyancy of the ocean and the unbreakable pull of magnetic polarity. It supports the hardness of rock, the very substance of our planet, refined through time, seemingly fragile yet containing the unbreakable and everlasting promise that is contained in angelic protection and love. These cards, the words on these cards are just beautiful um, and they're really nice to read. So that is the card that I pulled today and that's the message that the angels wanted to convey. This one is Angelic Connections. If you see the angel in everyone you meet, you will always be in divine company. If our souls are everlasting through many lifetimes, and if we wait in a heavenly place until our rebirth, then we spend most of that time among the angelic realms. Following this thought, perhaps what we see in meditation is a memory. A part of us knows that angelic presence and a spark of it remains in our hearts for all time. When we are born, part of our soul, the egoless, non-physical part, remains in the heavenly place. The higher self is wiser and purer than our bodily form and has no material attachment. It is impossible to connect and ask our higher self for guidance. Sorry, it is possible to connect and ask our higher self for guidance. When we tap into that wisdom, we can also connect with the angel within us. Next time you meet, notice the difference in the energy of your interactions when you allow the angel within to connect with another at a deep soul level. And I'm going to pull a third card from this angel deck. And this one is called Angel Reassurance. Angels are there to nourish our being, not to feed our egos. A hundred years ago, almost everyone believed in God. Every nation had a form of religious belief that was part of its culture. Now most countries are known politically as secular societies, yet humans, human beings require nurturing of mind, body and spirit. People are hungry to fulfil a yearning to be complete. The angels can help us. Truly ecumenical. Angels act as a link between God and us, as messengers, conveying our thoughts and prayers to the source. On the returning impulse of loving energy, sorry, they prompt and guide us in our thoughts and dreams. This enables our spiritual growth through love so that we begin to understand how precious we truly are. So that is the cards that I felt prompted to pull from this angel deck today. And if you're reading, uh, listening to this message today, it's because you were drawn to the messages that the angels wanted to convey to you today. Be blessed. Take care of each other. Stay safe. Bye for now.